talk about type 2 diabetic medications under five minutes and we're going to get started right away. So the first drug we're going to be talking about is metformin. Metformin is first line therapy for type 2 diabetes. Metformin was actually first approved in Canada uh, over the, the US uh, almost 50 years ago, more than 50 years ago. Um, it primarily works by uh, reducing the production of glucose by the liver and it also helps with insulin sensitivity in our body. It's a uh, first line for type 2 diabetes and uh, one of the problems I guess uh, that come with metformin is that you have to take four pills. Um, they're not very small either and the other problem with metformin is that it can cause some GI issues, GI intolerance. So specifically it can cause some cramping, it can also cause some uh, diarrhea for some patients as well. But overall First line, um, pretty much, pretty well tolerated for most patients, um, and uh, it's very cheap. And uh, for patients that have just been diagnosed with diabetes, it actually works quite well to control sugars. Sulfonylurea medications uh, can include uh, glycolyzide or dimicron. This class of medication is oral, and it is um, basically functions to release um, insulin from the pancreas. Um, some of the problems associated with this class of medications is that it can um, oftentimes lead to weight gain because it's directly dealing with insulin and the amount of insulin in your bloodstream. Another common problem with these medications is that um, it can also lead to hypoglycemia. DPP-4 inhibitors uh, are a class of medication that can also help with optimizing blood sugars. They're oral medications. This class of medications includes uh, drugs such as cetagliptin or a uh, brand name of Genuvia, for example. Uh, this medication class is a um, fairly weak medication class. It doesn't really robustly reduce blood sugars, um, but it's fairly well tolerated by most patients. Um, one of the problems associated with DPP-4 inhibitors is in, is in rare scenarios, it can cause some issues with pancreas or gallbladder. Um, so this is something to look out for. Um, another thing is um, these types of medications are often paired with other medications to help control sugars for patients. GLP-1 receptor agonists such as semaglutide, liraglutide, or dulaglutide, um, so Trulicity, Ozempic, Sexenda, uh, are, are, are medications that can help with optimizing your blood sugars. They're, they come in uh, an oral form and they also come in injectable forms. Uh, this is a very, very popular um, new class of medication that can help with uh, improving cardio uh, outcomes for patients as well. They oftentimes help with uh, weight loss, uh, achieving weight loss for patients also. Um, and this medication class basically works by um, slowing down the gut, making you feel fuller, longer, and it also helps to optimize your incretin pathway, which can help improve sensitivity to insulin. SGLT2 inhibitors, such as uh, canagliflozin, dapagliflozin, or empagliflozin, uh, or uh, Invokana, Forziga, or Jardians, are a class of medication that have been uh, found to be very beneficial. They, they have a lot of benefits uh, associated with them. Um, some of these benefits include cardiorenal protection, also um, weight loss for some. And the way that this class works is by um, helping your kidneys get rid of extra sugar. Now, the SGLT2 um, receptors are found throughout the body and some of these other benefits to this class of medications is due to the receptors being all over your body. So this class of medication has really been um, at the forefront uh, in, in protecting our um, outcomes, uh, improving health in many different ways for our patients with uh, type 2 diabetes. So in general, this medication can help with weight loss, it can help with protecting your kidneys, it can protect your heart as well. And um, these medications are pills and um, are, are very effective in controlling sugars. Well, there you have it. We spoke about uh, all the different classes of type 2 diabetes medications that are available in under five minutes. Hope you learned lots and um, have some better understanding of the medications that are available uh, to help treat your diabetes. Thanks for watching.